In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to import video from a video camera, as well as how to use an external drive for editing your projects in iMovie. So let's get started. I want to start by showing you what version of iMovie we're using. If I go to the iMovie menu and choose About iMovie, you'll see that we're using version 10.0.4. Now, the first thing that we want to do is establish a library on our external drive. I've got a drive on my computer that's, that's in the USB port labeled Video Editing. If I open it up, you'll notice that there's nothing on it at the moment. But we want to use this drive to store our video projects. So let me show you how we do that. The first thing that I'll show you is that we have an iMovie library that is part of this computer's hard drive. So the internal hard drive has a, an iMovie library already on it. We don't want to use that, but we can't delete it yet until we get another library established. So what we'll do is go to the File menu and choose Open Library and New. And what I'll do is create a new library for my external hard drive. So we'll call it Andy's iMovie Library. And we're going to make sure that we put it on our external drive. So we'll need to click this drop down button here to see our full list of choices. So we'll choose the video editing drive. We'll click on Save. And now we've just established a new iMovie Library. And it automatically creates a section with a new project or a new set of events actually. These are events. Okay. To avoid confusion now we can actually go to this library, right click on it, and choose close. And now we are simply working with our external drive and the library that's on it. If I right click here and choose reveal in finder, it'll show us that video editing external hard drive and we've established this iMovie library on it. So our next step is to insert the card of video from our Canon Vixia video camera. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to insert the SD card. And so what will happen is you'll see the clips that are contained on the SD card from our video camera. There's five separate clips and you'll see previews in the larger window above them. And you'll notice as we click on each one, it has a yellow line around it. If I highlight this first video and click Import Selected, it will only import this first clip. Same is true for any of the other clips. It will only import the one that's selected. I can hold down the Command key and select multiple clips to import those. Or I can click down in this empty space down here, select none of the clips, and I can choose Import All, which is what I'm going to do. Now I've got my clips in what's called my events area. So again, I can click any of these and I can scroll back and forth to see what's going on in these particular video clips. And you'll notice in the background that these little circles are starting to fill in as time goes on. You'll also notice the activity up here showing you the overall progress of importing this video. And after a few more seconds, all of that video has been imported and this has been imported into my video library. And up here it says that the import is complete. So I can either close this or eject it. I'll eject the card later. So I'm just going to close it for now. So that is how you're going to import your video and import it onto your external hard drive.